Maya to the motherland. Hello, my name is Maya and you're watching my YouTube channel, Maya to the motherland. Um, today's video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about preparing for Ghana, what you can do if you're going to make your first trip. Uh, so I'll talk to you a little bit now about maybe the visa process. Because if you're a U.S. citizen, you have a U.S. passport, all you need is a travel visa. And the process to get one is fairly simple. Uh, you are required to get specific vaccinations, namely yellow fever, right? Um, and you can take malarial tablets when you're there, or you can start around here. So you have to be in general good health. You have to have a valid passport. You have to have an actual itinerary to show that you truly are intending to travel and any departures out of the country to other countries will have to be reflected on your ticket. Um, you have to go with passport photos, original documentation. You have to get a letter of invitation, actually. It's very important. So you have to have your hotel booking or your Airbnb booking or the address of wherever you'll stay. But you also have to have a letter from a Ghanaian citizen stating that they're going to be hosting you, responsible for you, etc. And, you know, if you're not going to stay with the Ghanaian host, you're going to an Airbnb, your Airbnb host can also write this letter for you. If you live in a city like Houston or DC or New York where there's a Ghanaian embassy, you can just take the original documents in your application directly to their counter. Well, pre-COVID, right? I don't know what their plans are after right now, but you usually can take yours. Um, the first time I went to Ghana in 2017, I got the one-time entry, so I had to go within 90 days of my visa issuance. It cost me less than 100 bucks. Um, I worked in New York City off Madison Avenue, so I was right by the embassy. It was so simple. I mean, remember that African people have a different personality than, you know, we Americans might be used to, so that was probably the only uh, obstacle I ran into of any, but it was nothing. The second time I went to Ghana, I decided I'm not going through all that because at the time I was living in Miami, um, I used an expediter service, it's called Travel Docs. They have an office off of Madison Avenue in New York. Um, I physically dropped off my passport with, with them. You obviously can mail it, but I physically dropped it off. They will take it to the embassy for you, expedite it for an extra fee. So the one-time entry is less than 100 bucks, I think, all in. If you get it expedited and you get a five-year multiple entry visa, which means you can go to Ghana for 90 days, come back, go back as much as you want over five years, that cost me about $200. But I didn't know at the time that it was going to be worth it. I just had planned to spend the rest of my New Year's for the next five years in Ghana. Didn't know that what I needed was, I was going to need it for, for this next chapter of my life. So it was that simple. Um, um, that part's easy. Also, I obviously been happy the vac vaccination. Something I'd mention if you're planning to go to Ghana, um, do your research, obviously, watching YouTube channels, talking to other people who've been, it's great. But when you get there, be prepared to leave your expectations in the airport. Come with an open mind and an open heart and come willing to observe and respect the existing culture and traditions. Don't go there thinking that you want it to be Americanized, right? Like Tulu. Maybe, you know um, and if you're coming for the first time I would say bring mosquito spray <laughs> definitely bring your own mosquito spray um, I think everybody's carrying hand sanitizer these days um, baby wipes obviously um, bring something to keep your stomach settled if you have a if you get travel stomach right travel constipation things like that you need to get the universal chargers because obviously their electric output or receptacles are different than U.S. And what else can I say? It's hot in Ghana. <laughs> it is the hottest, <laughs> loveliest place. So don't bring really nice heels places because um, it's like being in Jamaica where you've got a lot of dirt roads or gravel driveways and you'll ruin your heels. 
take it from someone who's already done that to a few pairs. Also, don't bring any jeans. You're never going to wear them. It's too hot. Bring clothes that breathe, are loose, so you can be comfortable and you can enjoy the atmosphere in Ghana. Um, and if you're natural um, and you're looking to do a protective style, wait till you get to Ghana and do it there. It's cheaper, it's a fun experience, and they probably can be super creative. You can do some really fun styles in a short amount of time. Um, but if you don't want to get your hair done, be sure you bring your own hair products because toiletries that you're probably used to in the United States are much harder to find in Ghana. Um, and I think that's all I can think of. <laughs> but the visa process is fairly simple. Don't wait till the last minute. You should have your visa a good two to three weeks before you depart. So start the process early. If you're going to Ghana, you shouldn't be buying a ticket a few weeks before you depart. You should know months before that you're going to go. And um, uh, get good, get, take advantage of good rates if you book early. But yeah, that's my advice on how to prepare for your first trip to Ghana. Maya to the motherland.